I came across an article, The Five Qualities from 700 Highly Successful People. These were the people that Napoleon Hill interviewed, and this article was from Sharmaz Abraham. So let me summarize this for you. The five qualities of highly successful people. Number one, belief in your work. Every successful person had a belief in what they do, even if they don't see that success immediately. So you want to call that, if you want, a definite major purpose. What it is you're doing, why you're doing it, the things we talk about. Specialized in one thing. I frequently get asked, you know, should I do a conglomerate? No, you should not do a conglomerate. Focus on one thing, master that one thing, then move to the next thing. If you think about most successful people, that's what they did. They focused on one thing to start. They branched out later on in many cases, but they were pretty focused on the one thing. Highly organized. They achieve everything through discipline. We all know that to achieve something, we need to develop a strategy to apply, apply our strategy, and we need to work with continuous effort. So, he also commented that continuous effort needs a plan that allows us to work daily. Geez, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? End up knowing what you want to do, write down your goals, write down your affirmations, and use the Ivy Lee method that we've talked about where the day before you write down the things you're going to accomplish the next day, ideally putting a time that you're going to do each of those. So you on a daily basis know what to do and how to do it. But if you wanna call that highly organized, yes. But know what to do, have a plan, and work that plan with continuous action. Self-mastery. They have control over themselves, weaknesses, and strengths are a concern, but they channel efforts and emotions such that they put those things behind them. So they certainly understand how to cope with procrastination. Again, things like the Ivy Lee method, your plan, your why, keeping that in your affirmations, keeping that in front of you, super important. And emotional channelizing. Well, that's a big word. Successful people understand how to convert their dark viral emotions <laughs> into a tremendous level of motivation. They can self-motivate themselves through their emotional shifting ability and wants and desire over doubts and fears. So I've talked about something similar to that, that Napoleon Hill said that negative thoughts are like weeds in a garden. You have to grab them throw them away, and replace them with a more positive thought. And that's discipline requires discipline. So I hope that's helpful. We have talked about each of those at one time or another, but sometimes it's important to say, okay, if these are the five qualities of those 700 highly successful people, and that's all that Napoleon Hill interviewed, at that time financially successful, Take a checklist and see how you do on each one of those things. And if you have areas where you're not doing as well as you want to, work on changing that. But those five things, belief in your work, specializing in one thing, highly organized, self-mastery, and emotional channelizing, those things are worth thinking about and more importantly worth acting on them. If you don't know where to start and how to do this business acquisition thing, go over to brucewhipple.com. Under the courses, you'll see the acquisition advantage. That's the latest training that I've put together. And if you're wondering how to talk to people, again, there's a free course there that will also put you on the mailing list. I do three emails a week, which are actionable, meaning that my intent is to help you move faster toward your goal through those. And if you want to go there directly, just brucewhipple.com forward slash free course. So I hope that is helpful to you. And more importantly, I hope that you put that into action and see the results of doing that.